Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Now, as you know, I'm focused on the health and wellness, beauty treatments, but I also take an interest in fitness and I always have. Um, I like to do exercise classes. I do like to go to the gym, but I'm really not, I find it boring quite easily. So I have to get a routine and switch it up. I prefer weights classes than actually going and doing my own weights because I do think I'm better with a teacher pushing me. But if you're anything like me, then you won't have been able to do any classes recently. Over the past year, since March, we had to stop our classes and then they came back for a few weeks and then they stopped again. And it doesn't look as if there's going to be anything happening anytime soon in the new year. Um, when I trained in my h and Beauty Therapy, we did a unit on uh, diet and nutrition and also body treatments by exercise. So in theory, I can teach a class, but in reality... I would not teach a class. <laughs> the same goes for diet and nutrition. Uh, again, I have the theory, but I would never call myself a nutritionist. I just have an understanding and I can discuss it with clients, but I could never, I would never advise. But if they asked me any, if they asked me my opinion, I would give it with caution, but I wouldn't say you should do this or I recommend that. It's not like that. Um, so what I thought I would do today is show you what I'm doing at home with uh, the weights issue because I don't want to buy weights for the house. Now, I actually bought this in the summer and I just haven't got around to showing you, by the way, but I've been using this since the summer, so it definitely works. But um, I didn't want to buy equipment for the house because whenever I have equipment, I tend to promise myself I'll use it and I don't. Um, I've used exercise bikes, elliptical trainers, you name it, I've had it. And what happens is the at-home version is never quite the same. I can't afford a Peloton. I would love one, but that's not happening anytime soon. So for me, it's um, I don't want to buy a full weights set. I also knew that there'd be a lot of weights that come in the weight set that wouldn't really, I wouldn't use them. I don't need them too light. So like the the lighter weights would be a waste of time. I don't really need the heavier ones. I don't need a massive set. So I found water dumbbells and I wondered if they'd be any good. I'll be honest with you, they exceed my expectations in some areas and it was a little bit of a stretch of the imagination in others. But I thought I would show you how I maintain them, how I set them up. And you will get a laugh because they do not look like that. And we all laughed when I tried my absolute best to fill them up. And you'll see they don't look like that, but you'll get a laugh with it. So this is how compact the packaging is. The reason why I think these are handy, they were about £30, £35 from eBay. Um, it's one pair, one set, as you can see, but you can double them up. You can do one on each. Now, it's also got the longer bar. That's the bit that was a bit of a cheat because the longer bar, that's as long as you can get it. Can you see there? That's as long as you can get it. That is not the length of a bar. So if you go to, say, like a body pump class, that bar from here to here that's too small. So I could set up the bar, but the truth is you'd be holding it here. So you might as well just use it as the little weights. So this, basically you take these off. If you can see, you spin these off and you've got all the different components and you spin this off. So that's how you do it. So I've got one dumbbell set up. This is the bar, which I won't really be using because it's too small. But again, it all fits in here. And the reason why I think this is handy is that they do have their weight. So you can make them as heavy as they'll go. You can adjust them by putting more or less water in them. You can get a good workout from them because obviously the water has weight to it. So it says um, you pour the water in the dumbbell. The magic dumbbell will become 10 kilos to 20 kilos as you like. Now we weighed my dumbbell and it was about three and a half, four kilos. So again, I don't know if there's uh, translation issues, but mind you, having said that, I didn't put two on each side. So to be fair, I could put two more on each side and that would get the weight up. Um, I think these are handy when you know that it's a temporary thing and you, like I say, you don't need them all of the time. So you can take the water out and put this in the box and how convenient is that going to be? Also, if you travel and you know that you might not be able to get to a gym or you don't want to go to a gym, maybe you're on holiday and you don't want to give up your weight. Maybe you're traveling with work and you're in hotels or B&Bs. I think it could be super handy to have this. A bit of a carry on, I'll admit, to pump them up and then obviously take, well, I'm saying pump them up, fill them up with water and then decant the water. But do you know what? That's better than 
losing out on doing your weights. And also maybe if you know that there's reasons why you go in and out of using your weights, maybe you only need to use them for certain cycles in your exercise routines, not all of the time. So I do think if you're into your weights, but you just don't want the space taken up or you can't afford it, anything like that, this is a great idea. But, so pros and cons. Pros, I think it's a fair price for what it is. I think it does what you need it to do. Um, they definitely don't leak in my opinion because I was worried they would leak. And uh, it's very handy. You definitely can do your exercise routines. There's no doubt about that. I think it's sturdy. There's no issue there. Now, this is the bit that will make you laugh. So before I get to that, um, so I've got one dumbbell. I'm leaving the dumbbell to the end because this will make you laugh. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and then the other two. So that's eight. So I haven't filled them all, but I suppose that's where you could actually make it heavier. So you've got your eight weights, if you like. You've got this component again, this all comes apart and then you just spin it to suit so you can make two dumbbells or one bar. But as I say, this is the longest you can get the bar and it's not long enough for me. I think that'd be for a child, but that doesn't matter. And I've actually got some extra attachments as well. So I don't know if they're meant to be for the other, it's probably for the other weights as well. So I'm not complaining, that's a good thing. Okay, you've got your instructions. <laughs> which are stuck to some sellotape. Hold on a little sec. Okay, here's the first problem. It says that you um, take your weight to the faucet and that's where you fill it. But I don't have a faucet like that. And we worked out that you, not a lot of people will have a faucet that actually works with this because it's quite small. So don't have a faucet like that. It's a mixer tap I've got and it's not that shape. So straight away, the mixer tap just, it wasn't cutting it. It wouldn't happen. Um, so what we came up with was a funnel. So look at this lovely yellow funnel, the DIY cupboard. So look, that funnel fits in. So I would suggest if you know you're going to have a problem with a faucet, look for a funnel that fits. And then we had another genius idea which was squeezy water bottles. So if you've got anything, this was actually vinegar at one point. So once that was finished, the squeezy water bottle, and then you can just literally hold it over here and squeeze it in. So that's the other way of doing it. So that's your two ways. Now, here's the laugh. I don't care though, because it still works. So you see here, it's beautifully filled up like a dream. And then you see here, also beautifully filled up like a dream. And look there as well, and there. And there. I don't know how they did it, but I did everything in my power to fill these up. And I can't get it to do that. <laughs> so it's not, they're not bad, but if anyone sees them, they laugh. They laugh because they say, oh, look at your weights. You look like you blew them up yourself. <laughs> like you just literally blew them up with a balloon pump. But there's a definite weight to them. So they do work. Um, the other downside is that now, to be fair, I do actually, now I've just actually just realised while I'm talking to you, that'll be what that other bit's for because I was going to say they move about. <laughs> I just realised, oh, what a doofus. Right, so that's what the other bit is for them to make sure that your weights aren't moving about. I am such a dafty. Right, I've just realised what that is. So there you go. I'm keeping it real. I am not pretending that I know everything. Just realise that's to secure your weights because sometimes I was using them and that was moving about. I've literally just realised, oh, apologies for having one of those days, but it's been one of those years. So I find them really handy. That's a good weight to them. They do what I need them to do, but I cannot, that's them filled up as much as they'll go before the water starts pouring out again. And then, you know, when you go to press down any form of stopper, the minute you press any pressure and all, all the water starts coming out, but it doesn't matter because at the end of the day, that does what I need it to do. It's just quite funny that they go, oh, bit sad looking, but they do not leak, which is really important. The reason you can see a little bit of water there is because I just literally filled them up as much as I could five minutes ago to get them maximised and then I dried them off with an old towel. So because I dried them off, I've obviously not dried them completely, but that is absolutely fine. There's no water leakage at all. That's me just running around them, making sure that there's no 
wetness from where I had them in the sink. That's all that is. I don't know if you can see it there. That's literally just because they were in the sink and I dried them off. But I have never had a problem with them leaking. And I think that's important because the first thing that we all said was, what if they leak? What if they leak? What if you're exercising and then all of a sudden you're covered in water? And I thought, well, at least it's just me in the house. No one's going to laugh at me. Unless it was Zoom and you were doing a class where everyone could see. But any classes that I've done on Zoom have been sort of yoga, body balance, that type of thing. So overall... I'm really happy with this. I think it was a good investment. I'm using it every week. I then know that if we do switch back to classes, I'll either try and maintain to use them in the house or I can put them back in the packaging. And look how neat that is. That's really small, really neat. So I thought you might find it useful just to see that you can actually get your weights for the house. They don't need to be expensive and they don't need to take up tons of room. You don't have to transform one of your rooms or your garage or your shed into your gym you know that you can just transport it about here. And in theory, when we are allowed to go holidays again, maybe we can take our weights with us. Who knows? But I hope you found that useful. Let me know if you'd like to see any more videos on this genre, more health and fitness. I'm always happy to do that, but I will always give you a disclaimer at the beginning to explain what I can and can't do and what I can and can't discuss as in recommendations. Can't give you recommendations, can't give you medical guidance if I don't feel comfortable with it. And obviously medical because I am not a doctor, but we've got some level of information expertise when we've got our HNDs in our subject or subjects rather it's just about knowing where you need to go and seek your guidance from your medical professionals or your fitness professionals but other than that have a lovely day and I'll see you again soon look I have to show you this look at the difference I would say that that looks much better it was a hundred percent me no one needed to laugh at me I caused that it was me that made them look pathetic Right, I'm taking it back. That isn't a downside at all. It was just me being totally stupid. That is much better. I had to show you because it was only fair and I'm keeping it in what I did because I bet I'm not the only one that does that. And sometimes you've got to show yourself being a bit stupid so that everyone else can see that they're not the only ones. Oh, that's much better. I cannot believe that I only realised that when I went to show you my review. What a dafty. So look, now they're better. Now they don't look sad. Now they don't look like I blew them up myself. That's better. Right, I'm off to do the other one and uh, pat myself on the back for figuring it out as we were chatting. <laughs> See you soon, guys.